Okay, so this is my pitch, my actual magazine. Okay, so the purpose of my magazine is I'm creating a magazine for my clients to be based on the genre of action. Uh, the purpose of it is to bring entertainment to the people of North London and to hope that they enjoy reading all about action films. Um, I would also be creating this with the purpose of trying to give more information through the magazine to people who don't know about action films. Um, talking about new actors, new films and all new information coming up in the next few months about action films. Um, the form of my product is going to be a magazine instead of an advert or a poster. Um, it will be bright and colourful to hopefully attract the public to purchase my magazine and it will be both printed copy and a digital copy to hopefully satisfy everyone, both young and old, so everyone can access a copy of the magazine. The magazine will be released every three months, online and printed, so people can find out all the new details about action films that have happened and what's coming up soon in the action film world. The genre art of my magazine is going to be action. I believe action is good because there are many different types of action films that can be talked about through the magazine that I'll be creating. Some of the different types of action films that can be talked about are war, superheroes, disaster, adventure and many more. As well as this, there's also many different types of action film actors that I can talk about in my magazine. There are many different opportunities that can be written about through the magazine. My magazine will be costing around £4.50 and will be available by paper copies and an online basis that will be accessible via subscription. Uh, the content of my magazine, uh, it, will con it will contain many different aspects. One thing my magazine will contain is a double page spread. This will have many pieces of information about the magazine and give off information to the people purchasing about the contents of the magazine. As well as this, it will contain a Q&A section where all questions that have been asked by the audience to actors over the last three months will be answered. As well as this, my magazine will also include little bits of interviews from multiple different well-known actors who act in action-based movies. I think this is good for my magazine as it will entertain the audience and also give them a better understanding as to what goes on in action in actors' everyday lives. Furthermore, my magazine will also include behind the scenes. The behind the scenes section will show the audience what goes on on set when action film is being created, as well as all the fine details that go into creating a script, a set, and all the aspects of making an action movie. Um, my target audience. The magazine will be targeting a wide range of people within North London and then hopefully beyond. My primary target audience for my magazine will be both male and females, aged anywhere between 16 to 50 years old, and anyone who just loves action film magazines. These are my primary targets, as I believe targeting these people with my magazine will hopefully give me the best opportunity of my magazine being a success for both myself and the clients. Furthermore, my secondary target audience will be anyone of any age who enjoys reading any genre magazine. I've decided that these people will be my secondary target audience, as, as well as my primary target audience, these people I believe would be willing to spend money on a new magazine to find out all the inside information of action magazines as well as enjoying just reading magazines. Targeting these kind of people hopefully will allow the magazine to be successful and hopefully make people more willing to buy it, satisfying both myself and the clients. Um, yeah. So, resources and personnel. For, for creating my magazine, I'll be using a number of different resources and personnel. The different resources that will be helping me create the magazine will be Photoshop to create a front page and a double page spread. I will also be using a camera take images from my magazine. My list of resources would also include a computer, a mouse, a lot of paper for the printed versions of the magazine, a printer to print my magazine so they can be handed out in North London. I would also need a lot of different apps for fonts and images that can be used to form my magazine. Another resource that I would need is an online website where my magazine can be distributed. As well as my resources, I will need many different people to help with the creation of my magazine, such as editors, photographers, and any people who are good with laptops that can help the distribution of my magazine online. As well, I'm also going to need people to help the distribution manually of paper copies within North London. The clients also incredibly important personnel when the magazine is being created, as they will be able to help me with what is worth both good and bad with the magazine and what will need to change in order for them to be satisfied. Distrib my distributing and marketing methods. So the magazine I'll be creating will be, dis will be distributed smartly, which hopefully enable it to be the most successful it can be. My paper copies of the magazine will be distributed around North London first of all. Three copies of the magazine will be handed out to the public in schools, shops, on high streets, and then hopefully the public will enjoy reading the magazine and there will be more of a demand for it 
and then that, and then at that point I can start charging my price of four pound fifty. If all is successful, I will try and sell my magazine in shops such as Tesco's, W H Smith's, Argos, and many others. Furthermore, there will also be an online digital version of the magazine. This will only be introduced if the paper copies become a success. The magazine will be released on an online platform that I'll be creating and it will be released every three months to the public, both online and, paper, and in paper. It will cost £4.50 for a paper copy, but slightly cheaper online as you'll need to pay a subscription to my streaming website to access the Action Film magazine. So onto my sample materials. So I'm going to be using the Action Protocol um, font for my title magazine called Fierce. Um, I believe it fits well my action magazine theme because it's quite bold and in your face and quite screams action. And my font style, so for my cover line, I'm going to be using a font called Action of the Time. I'll be using this font for my cover line as I believe it really portrays the action side of the magazine and puts a lot of emphasis that the magazine is about action. And then my body copy, so I'll be using this for my double page spread. I'll be using a font called Fast Action. I'll use this font for my double page spread as very bold and really portrays the magazine will be about action as well. So my mood board. So my mood board consists of the colours red, orange and black. My mood board consists of these three colours because I believe these colours bode well with the theme of action. As action films usually consist of fire and fighting and I believe these colours portray this theme well. This mood board shows all the different films that have inspired my magazine that I'll be creating. Yeah, and then my colour scheme, just talking about the red, orange and black again. And my article ideas. The magazine I'm creating will contain a lot of different things. Through the magazine, there will be many interactive things. The magazine will contain a Q&A with different actors every time the magazine gets released. There will be a behind the scenes part to show fans how an action film is created. The magazine will also contain a word search and a quiz to attempt to make the magazine interactive and fun for the audience. As well, within the magazine, there will also be a discount code for cinemas around North London for fans to use when they purchase the magazine. So thank them for buying it, as well as hopefully tempting them into buying the magazine again. My magazine will also have a double page spread. In the double page spread, there will be an introduction to the magazine, what the magazine will contain, with page numbers, and also a small section about our clients, the City Cloud, as well as a small section about the creator of the magazine, myself. So here's just a couple of examples of existing magazine and competition. So there are many examples of magazines that are sold in North London that will be direct competitors to my magazine that I'll be creating. Some examples of the magazines that will be competing with my magazine are Empire Magazine, Total Film, Impact Magazine, alongside many others. Although these magazines are created and only dis distributed in North London, they are also sold in North London, which will make them com competitors to my new action-based magazine. And as well, I've also created a... Um, the front page which I haven't uploaded but yeah so it's got Fierce magazine at the top talking about all the different things inside the magazine the date, barcode, price and then a big bold picture of Batman at the front and then I've got my double page spread here as well so there'll be images of my double page spread, interviews with actors, social media, free tickets, what's coming up for the magazine and the contents of the magazine. Okay, thank you for listening to my proposal. Um, please sit down for yeah. the cute quick just sit there so we can oh, see you. Yeah. Um, and then I'll let people ask you questions first. But thank you very much for getting the ball rolling. I have a question. Yes. Um, could you have like such a broad audience of like age sixteen to fifty? How are you gonna aim your content to that audience? Uh, I think it's more towards people who enjoy action films. Mm -hmm. So probably from around those ages as well, I believe that most people enjoy action films. So as long as you're liking action films, I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be just that age, but you know, I think specifically between those ages are where most people enjoy action films, so that's how I'm gonna target them. Other questions? That was um, certainly a really important one for everybody, thinking about target audiences. Other questions? Um... to make the PowerPoints a bit shorter and not as wordy, maybe some bullet points, but this is roughly what it will look like, hopefully.
What's your unique selling point? Um, so the free tickets in the magazines for cinemas and discounts. What do you think that's going to do for the magazine? Um, I'm hoping it will prompt okay. people into buying it first and then hopefully buying it again afterwards as well. That's a good question, isn't it? Again, very relevant for everybody that where do you situate yourself as an original magazine, yeah. so uh, wonderful. I'm curious about the title, Jack, uh, Fierce. So what kind of like brand identity and kind of connotations will your audience take away from it being called Fierce? So Fierce, it was talking about action films because a lot of action films consist of fighting and like superheroes and strength and stuff. So I think the word fierce kind of puts all those different categories into one word. Yeah. Excellent. And um, just just a little bit of um, kind of insight about the, uh, the presentation side. You have you have got a really um, a wealth of ideas there. Try and spread out the text so that when your client looks up, you've got um, a lot more images and less text. Okay. So. Uh, you can create cue cards. Yeah. Okay. So some of the things that are on there don't need to be on there, but you'll need them to be articulate, you know, and to yeah. kind of take us through. Okay. And we don't want not to have those excellent ideas, but we will need to have them on cue cards. Okay. And then if your your visuals can mainly drive what you want to say, of course you will need some some text, but yeah. but m more headlines. Um, can you tell us about how you're going to respond to the explicit client requirement which was for the streaming, working with an existing or a new streaming service? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to create my own streaming service, so that can be subscribed to, which will, that's where my digital copies of the magazine will be, so yeah, I'm going to hopefully create my own streaming service and then that's where people can access the magazine from. Okay. All right then. Unless anybody else has other questions, any other questions? Thank you for getting the ball rolling. Well done.